The first thing I said I was going to read on my TBR video for June on the Range was Trail of the Snake, which in that video I said was a short story. Turns out this is a collection of five short stories by Norval Page. Uh, so I read the first short story. Then I read a, a book that I'm talking about in a different video. And then I went back and read the other four of these. Norval Page is an excellent writer. Most famous for this series. He did not create this series. This is a pulp series um, called The Spider, which was came out right after The Shadow, kind of to compete with The Shadow. The credited author on all 118 issues of this of this pulp series it was a novel a month. The credited author's name was Grant Stockwell. However, Norval Page was the person who wrote the bulk of them. I think he wrote over 100 of them. He took a year off at one point. He was hired to take over the series with issue three. The first two were written by someone else. Not, not as good. Um, and he's, uh, he is like one of the most action-packed writers you'll ever meet, you'll ever want to find. The spider is the protector of the you know, proto-superhero type sort of Batman type, no superpowers. Wealthy, you know, has a sexy, capable girlfriend, has a friend on the police force who's always trying to find out his identity. A lot of those elements are there. Has a sign signature ring, which he punches criminals with, which uh, puts a, a mark of a, like a spider symbol on them. You know, cuts right in their flesh with a spider symbol. Amazing number of, amazingly high body counts these novels are, are known for. You know, a, a villain will, you know, cr create some deadly gas, a lot of deadly gases too, and release on the city and, and um, kill 5,000 people in the first chapter and then the spider has to stop him. But they're really great if you like just pure action. Pure action. The best ones probably, I think, is this trilogy he wrote called... I'm eventually going to get to Westerns. And see, now, you know, in these reissues, they credit his real name, Norval Page. The Spider vs. the Empire State, which is known as the Black Police Trilogy, it was three consecutive issues, three novels and three consecutive issues. It's a really nice, I forget who does this, it's really nice if, if it's still in print or you can get a used copy because it has all the original illustrations. I don't have it on here so I can't show you, but all the original illustrations from the pulp novels. They go very quick, they're, you know, they were written one a month, so they're probably, you know, in, in normal print they're like well under 200 pages each, but in the Black Police Trilogy set in the days leading up to World War II in New York State. These are set in New York City. In New York State has, is it the governor or, or is it the city of mayor? Anyway, this sort of proto-fascist uh, political party takes over you know, wins, wins the election and they impose like a new regime in, in New York City and I think New York State. Pretty sure it's the governor. You know, they, they, they cut taxes on their, on, on the, the rich, on rich people in order to get into power, in order to get like a power base, they, they cut taxes on the rich and they, and so to, to fund themselves, they dramatically increase them on everyone else, and so to, and to enforce their power, they they create this new police force called the Black Police. I think because they have uh, black uniforms instead of the blue uniforms, or this uh, proto-fascist organization. And so the spider, the, you know, it's a it's a big arc, you know, written in the time of, of fascism rising in Europe. Um, you know, where take where the spider over three, three, ep, three, three novels takes on this this organization and destroys it and restores order to the city. 
kind of hand waves the whole fact that the federal government like is is like not even a, a factor in this. You know, there's no national guard coming in or anything. It's just like cause when 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 New York State actually goes rogue, but it's. Those are probably the best. You could really pick up any of them. They have, you know, they always have great titles and, you know, the city destroyer, the, the city destroyer. I, and um, so I really like Novel Page. I wanted to read some other things by him. He also had a couple novels that were written later in the 60s that are, I think, that you can get in there, that you can get in used copies I'll have to look up the names and put them in the in the description because I don't remember offhand. They're sword and sorcery novels about Prester John. And but other than spider novels, none of his work is on is in ebooks or currently in print. Those Prester John novel, novels, someone's probably working to bring them back. They're really good. So I wanted to see what else they had, and that's how I came across the Trail of the Snake. There's, they also have the same publisher, which is called, which is called Black Dog Books. puts out uh, besides this one, they also put out a short collection of Norval Page's uh, early crime stories. These are okay. These are not what I would start with. There's five stories, like I said. Let me see. I want to get to the... And there's a couple of short uh, think, uh, discuss, uh, biographical pieces here. There's an introduction to his work by someone and, and a, a biography at the end. Uh, oddly, oddly missing certain details like the uh, dates of birth and death of the writer. And most irritatingly of all... This collection of five pulp stories has no no list of where the stories originally appeared. I don't know if they're uh, public domain stories or what, but there's really no excuse for that to not tell us where these, what year these stories were originally printed, and what where they appeared. There's a reference in. Oh my God, this thing keeps flipping over. There's a reference in the introduction to how a, a couple of these uh, westerns were f written for the spicy pulps. I assume for spicy western, the spicy pulps for people who don't know were were like spicier than a regular adventure stories. So they have like more uh, sex. I mean, not not graphic sex or anything that you would even notice as sex. It's just like uh, um, just a bit hornier. Um, and normal page handles that by having like uh, the sheriff or whatever uh, checking out some hot girl in, in the saloon in the first two pages and then sort of drops that whole thing afterwards. So, so those are spicy. All in all, and this is why I was curious, I guess I could go look them up. I, oh, wait a minute. Maybe there is a, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, no. Um, no, there's just a, another a list of other Black Dog book, Black Dog books. They also publish a short collection of Norval Page's early crime stories, and I'm saying early, I think, oh, and that one's called City City of Corpses. Um, I guess I could look each of these up. They're not as good. They're not nearly as good as anything else I've read by Normal Page. I think they're early. Like he might have broke in this before. I think these were probably written before he got hired to do the Spider books. He was an uh, interesting guy. He worked very hard. He was a, a journalist and in New York City. And his father. He was pretty young, but he had a young family and his. His father was lost all his money in the stock market in the crash of 29, so Marvel Page suddenly had to support his parents as well as his, uh, his, his own family. So he started doing pulp work on the side, and he was a very, very fast writer. Again, like other people I've talked about this month and in recent months. So eventually he got, he got the regular gig at, at the Spider magazine, and after that ended, he kind of left left fiction writing. You know that that ran like I don't know seven 
or eight years. It ran through World War Two, I believe, or or to the middle of World War Two in in uh, middle of World War Two. He moves to Washington, starts writing for the State Department or the Pentagon or something. I can't remember now. Has a whole other career, writing and you know for uh, government publications and 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 things like that you know with his pulp career mostly behind him although like I said he did write those Prester John novels which he did later in his career so he never totally gave up fiction writing but he, he might have burned himself out I know that there's one year you know after four or five years of writing the the, uh, the spider every month he left the magazine and someone else took it over for about a year and I, he wrote some other things in that time and then he went back and finished the run of the spider mostly and apparently the last couple uh, pretty uh, the last couple issues uh, were, were not not that good so he might have just burned himself out just banging out these plots they're very similar you don't really have to read them in order or anything there's no story arc or anything for the most part except for the black police books there's a few others that are remotely um, connected but online the one the ones you find online I believe are I don't know if they've issued there's a, a publisher that issues all the spider novels in ebook editions I think it's the same publisher who does like Doc Savage and and um, the shadow or reprints and things like that and, and they're pretty much they're all correctly credited to the right author and I don't know if they skip the issues that he wasn't involved in or if they're or anyway they're clearly labeled I would recommend those these are just pretty generic westerns the they are a bit the dialogue is a bit you know there's a lot of stuff there's a lot and this happens a lot I see this a lot in in TV writing especially recent TV writing and I have another video up coming up on an early American one of the founders of the the Western genre and the dialogue I didn't talk about it in in that video but I'm trying to be vague because I don't know which one's going up first, but <clears throat> the dialogue in that book and in the books of Louis L'Amour is realistic. The people sound like people, and there's another kind of mode, and Norval Page does this. Could have been because he was a New Yorker, probably never been in the West. He was just writing Westerns because that was a market. And I see this in, in kind of new things that are on AMC or whatever, you know, TV shows over the last few years. Well, they'll have this really stupid sort of really broad, you know, a lot of people saying reckon. I'm fixing to reckon. You know, I, I'm, I'm reckoning you're, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm fixing to do this. Or I reckon you think that or that kind of stuff that people don't really talk like. And... And I was uh, appreciated uh, when they when they don't when they don't go so broad with 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 the lingo, you know. Uh, you know, he says things like, uh, "What you doing talking to himself?" And you know that kind of stuff that really people don't really talk that way. You know, just like write out the dialogue, and you could pick up the the tone and of the time and stuff by the things that people are talking about. You don't have to have this like. Sort of like Hogan, I, I, I'm fixing to, I'm fixing to tangle with him. You know that kind of stuff. It seems very false to me. And there's and the dialogue in, in these stories is more like that than than in most of the really solid uh, category westerns. I call them category westerns. I don't know if that's uh, the right term or not. But what I mean is, you know, the stuff you see the in the Louis L'Amour section, the stuff that people traditionally think of Westerns where they're like, you know, 160 pages long and they're written by T.V. Olsen or, or whoever, Don Coldsmith or 
Matt Braun or so many different people, but they have a certain look to them, just the way that certain traditional sci-fi novels had a certain look to them back in the old paperback days. And and uh, these are kind of just, uh, you know, these are just page fillers. I didn't really, so I didn't really enjoy them that much. I just wanted to uh, follow up with it because I had read them and give me a chance to talk a little about Norval Page, who's written much better books than that. And we'll keep going. I think I'm going to read some more westerns right now.